<laughs> I've got Rob here from Imco Technologies, and they've got some really cool propane injection systems for V8 engines. He's going to tell us about the engine that's in this Ford Mustang behind us, in the Chevys, and all the other good stuff. No worries. Yeah, it's a propane or natural gas injection system. It's um, a system which can be added to any production vehicle. However, in the U.S., obviously, it's got to be put on EPA compliance systems, which we release through EPA or in compliance with EPA. The Mustang obviously is a prototype version. It's done to demonstrate the flexibility of the system. So we have the technology, although the regulations don't make it easy for us to do one-off type vehicles like the Mustang. The performance on the Mustang, which I drove here, is um, like gasoline. There's no difference between propane or natural gas. Sorry, propane or gasoline. So you drove this from from California? From Orange County, yep, from Yorba Linda, Orange County. It's the car I drive every day. The system's not normally on it when I'm road driving it, but this time we took a bit of a drive with it up here. Yeah. Very good. And, and what kind of mileage do you get? Um, the mileage I haven't really recorded. We would expect to see probably around a 20 to 25% less consumption on propane with this particular engine, or more consumption of propane, because its uh, energy content's only about 76% percent that of gasoline however we haven't actually got that far with this car as it's a demonstrator for the show and that car's actually headed for australia as a promotional vehicle for the particular system that's on the car in australia of course propane's available anywhere it's called auto gas and it's used widely by families and fleets to save money as gasoline's over five dollars a gallon in australia propane about a third about a third of the cost yeah so they save something like about 60 percent of the running costs on fleets a little bit dependent on whereabouts you are in in, the, uh, in Australia, but uh, instance Victoria is where the probably 60 or 50 percent of the market for propane vehicles, and it's you know 60 percent savings of your fuel bill. Now, why don't we t tell tell us a little bit about how the how the technology works in a common fuel rail? This is a common fuel rail injection system. It's a vapor injection system. So we take liquid from the tank, we vaporize the LPG or the propane through a vaporizer as such. We take it from tank pressure at about roughly 60 to 80 psi and we bring it down to a constant 21 psi in this rail. The injectors here are what meter the fuel to individual cylinder runners, so it's a sequential injection system and we control it with our translator box or our ECU which works in conjunction or as works as a slave to the gasoline ECU. So the vehicle that we put the system on never knows it's operating on propane or natural gas as we've normalized the injection system for LPG or natural gas to the gasoline requirement. So we take advantage of the calibrations that are already in the engine from the original equipment manufacturer. So if, if the car runs n normally on, on regular gasoline but then switches over to natural gas or propane? Yeah, so with propane for instance what we do is we start the engine every time on gasoline, the car warms up and once we get adequate temperature and pressure in the rail for our, our system, we turn over to uh, the alternate fuel, whether it's natural gas or propane. Um, this provides us a fail safe for drivers. They don't need to know anything about the system, but realistically, he can just drive it with the switch in the gas position, it automatically does everything. He can't get into trouble by trying to change the fuel too early. It won't let him, it locks him out. So it's just a, it's just a case of, of Pressing a button to switch over. Yeah, so you, you normally drive around with the button pressed in the LPG position, so the vehicle will start every time on gasoline, but default to the propane or natural gas operation, depending on which system's on the car, um, automatically. However, if you desire, you can push the button and just go back to gasoline operation manually. If you run out? If, yeah, if you run out of propane, the, the car will beep at you, automatically change back to gasoline operation. It, it never lets you stall the vehicle or have a driver error position. It's... Um, we take that away from the driver of any mistake. So in the Mustang, the, the tank is just sitting in the in the trunk. What about over in the in the pickup truck? In the pickup truck, the tank's in the bed. Um, it's a I think they've run out a Type Four cylinder, and that's a carbon fiber wrap cylinder. Um, that has a I think it was about 25 gasoline gallon equivalency storage. Um, for instance, in Utah right now, you can save substantial money off your fuel bill. It's, I think they're selling it for around about 63.8 cents a gallon, gasoline gallon equivalent. So there's a large requirement for this natural gas truck in, pro, uh, in uh, Utah right now. So Utah is a place to go for, for running your fleet inexpensively? Yeah, at the moment people are saving huge amounts on running their trucks on uh, natural gas. Very, very, very cool.